Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Vanilla Wax server. My name oh you scared me. <laughs> My name is Ryla and we are heading towards the Guardian farm that Gorley built. Uh, if you want to see how he did the build, you can go watch his episode. I'll put an annotation in the description, probably up in the corner here. Uh, but we're just gonna go through real quick and grab some stuff. Alright, here we go. We put some nice doors in front so the pigmen can't get out. Here is his guardian farm. It is super cool. I kind of love it. Don't tell him I said that, though, because they'll get a big head. But the guardians spawn way up there, and then they fall to their deaths, and the bits and pieces are picked up by these carts underneath these slabs. They're hopper carts, and they dump everything off at these uh, chests back here. So there's a whole assortment of chests. I was hoping I could watch one fall to his death, but it's being difficult. These bats don't help. Bats should not be spawning. There's one. Plop. Ha ha! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these... I, I don't... I think the bats ruin the spawning rates a little bit. I mean, not much. There's the AFK spot way up there. If you go up there, you get better rates. And, and AFK up there, you actually get better mob drop rates than if you hang out down here, which I didn't realize the first time I AFK'd here. Because I'm going to be using a lot of these blocks, so I'm going to be AFK here a lot. As you can see, the Guardians drop the Prismarine Crystals, the Prismarine Shards, and you actually get a bunch of raw fish. Sometimes you get squids that spawn in the water and fall to their deaths, and those you get ink sacks for. Uh, but you can make several of the new blocks with this stuff here. I'm actually going to, I'll show you a few of the different blocks. Let's go ahead and just grab these. Just grab a ton. Because I, like I said, I'm going to use a bunch of these for my new build. I'm going to show you the build site here in a bit. Um, I had once put some stuff back here, but I guess I didn't. Let me see if I can find, let me see if he's got some ink sacks around here. I'm gonna just, I just need one to show you a particular build. Oh, he's got a music disc. That is good to know. I need one of those for the diner. Okay. Oh, no, there's, I saw, I saw it. Almost missed it. I'm just stealing one, Gorley. If you're really upset about me stealing the one, I will replace it, but I'm assuming you're okay with just the one. Uh, if you do an ink sack surrounded by the prismarine shards, you get these dark prismarine, which you can see I have two here. This is probably the most expensive block, funny enough, uh, just because the ink sacks are kind of hard to come by. If you do all uh, three by three like this, nine blocks, you get the prismarine bricks, which are very nice. If you do a two by two pattern, you get the prismarine, which is kind of, let's see. I'll actually set these out so you can see them. I don't know if anyone's seen them or not, so we're just going to lay them out for you. There we go. That's the prismarine. Prismarine bricks. Dark prismarine. All very nice combinations right there. I think they're very pretty. I, I like the color. I like the bluey, greeny color. So I still think we need some uh, awesome red blocks that are not redstone because I think these are gorgeous and I love using them. The only problem, though, is the redstone, so you can't put a lever or a button or anything else unless it's on purpose. Like here, he's using it to power uh, power this powered rail, so they're perfect, and it's gorgeous, and I love that, actually. I think I think this bottom part is beautiful. <laughs> I really do. I, I love it. Um, and he's also using it to power, of course, these, these bricks here, the um, redstone lantern. But like I said, it's if I if I just wanted to use them to decorate with, like at the diner, I had it as a as a the second layer, kind of as a highlight. Cause so many diners, I looked online and did a little research. They make true noises when they die. I did a little bit of research about diners and the redstone blocks. Uh, they use a lot of red in traditional old school kind of diners. At least the pictures I was looking at. And I originally put an iron door up there so the zombies couldn't tear it down. And then I had a button. Uh, you can't put a button on the redstone block, but you can put one beneath it. But when you activate the button, the redstone turns on, and it just keeps the door open the whole time. And it's it's a pain. But we're not here to talk about redstone. We're here to talk about prismarine and the new build. So there's the prismarine options. And then we do have one more available, which is kind of awesome because it gives us a new lighting solution, which is you just do a cross pattern with these prismarine crystals, put a shard in each corner, and you get a sea lantern, which acts like glowstone. That is a light source right there. You can't really tell because everything's lit up around here, but that is an actual light source. And you can only pick it up with a fortune pick. If you don't pick it up with a fortune pick, it will break. In fact, I don't know what it breaks into. Let's go ahead and dump this stuff. I was just going to grab a bunch with me, but let's go ahead and just dump it. Let's see. All that. Thank you. And all this. Thank you. Let's see if we don't break it with a silk pick. What do we get? Do we get anything? 
we get shards back. Okay, so it is like glowstone. We do get the shards back. We get, yeah, the crystals, not the shards. We get crystals back. We don't get the shards. We can't recreate it. Uh, but these you can break normally. You don't have to have a silk touch. You won't get anything back. It's just, uh, again, just, just like glowstone. So the prismarine crystals. So those are going to be the basic blocks that we're going to be using uh, for this particular build. A lot of what the build is going to be is not, yeah, it's, it's going to use a lot of these and a lot of the sea lanterns, which is why I'm going to be AFKing here because I'm going to be using a ton of them. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the new location and talk about the new build uh, in just a little bit. And going through the opposite way in the nether, Guardian Farm is way that way. Uh, actually, Guardian Farm is up and then that way. Uh, we have this portal here which leads to our new build site. So let's go check it out real quick. Ta-da! Oh, hello. There's, there's zombies. It's nighttime. It is indeed nighttime. <laughs> it's recently nighttime too. I just left the Guardian Farm. Let's get, I haven't lit any of this stuff up as you can tell because it's still super dark and stuff is spawning everywhere. Last time I was here it was nighttime too so I guess this stuff just doesn't despawn maybe or maybe it just spawns really quickly. Either way this is the build site here. We have a nice bay. It's huge. It's a big bay. Let's go ahead and see if I can get some dirt and we can build a way up here. This is one end of it. Let's go this way because I want to go this way. Avoid the zombies. It looks like that creeper despawned, which was excellent. Okay, so here's one end of the bay. There's the other end of the bay. I essentially claimed the entire bay as my build site. There, I mean, properly. Ooh, don't fall off. There we go. Do I have any more? I've got cobblestone. Let's do a little bit of cobblestone too. I want to be able to make sure a skeleton can't shoot me down. So I need to be at least 30 high, I think. I don't know if that's high enough or not. I mean, if it shoots me down, it's no big deal because there's water right there. As long as I can make the water, we're okay. Put a light there. So, yeah, so this is our build site right here. We have this nice bay. It curves all the way around. There's that little blip, another curve, and then another blip. And then another little guy here. I think this, I don't think that's connected. I think this is an actual island. We're probably going to leave the island alone. Uh, really, I want this part here. This section is all going to be part of my build here and then here. I am essentially going to level this out so it's not at this point in time with just like four or five different levels of sand. I'm only going to have two levels so you'll have the first coastline level and then you'll have uh, what will be my building level essentially. I consider making it all one size. I may still do that. Just do one flat sea level and that's it. But all of this here is going to be cleared out it's all going to be the same level all the way here. So it's going to be a lot of work just leveling just leveling the ground. Uh, back there is plains. I'm actually going to use the sand that I get from leveling all this out. I should have a ton of sand by the end of it. And I'm going to extend the beach so all of this will be sand here. All of this will be sand here. And then this beach is essentially going to be just beach. I'm going to leave this here just as plain beach. A little bit here will probably be like a dock with boats that go extend into each side of the bay and then this will be beach here and then I'm gonna have a build essentially here and a build kind of essentially back here and probably something that connects the two and what essentially we're gonna be building is a resort this is going to be a nice vacation hotspot resort if you look in this direction I don't know if you can actually see it um, I don't think maybe that's it over there I'd have to look at the map again. I don't think that's it because that's, that's very mountainous. You have to kind of look from the corner of your eye, so to speak. That's rather mountainous, so I don't think that's it. Uh, but somewhere nearby, I thought it was kind of catty corner to this, but that's not it. I don't think that's it because it's, it's further away. I think it's over here somewhere. Out in the distance, maybe where you can see that little bit of dirt right there. If you look in the corner of my eye, or the corner of the eye, right about there, there's a little bit of dirt that might be the beginning of it. Anyway, over there is Play City. We are actually building something within easy reach of Play City because I thought this would be a great vacation spot with easy access to the best amusement park in Minecraft. So that was the general idea. And hopefully it'll, it'll come together quite nicely. 
the portal, of course, will not stay there. The portal will be inside the building somewhere. A lot of this will be lit up, but I will have like beach chairs and places to kind of hang out. I'll have docks with boats. I'm actually considering doing a nice bridge all the way direct, uh, not direct city, uh, to Play City, to the amusement park. Uh, so you could take a boat or you can actually do over a footbridge, do a nice walk over the footbridge. The main blocks that I want to use for this particular build, of course, are all the three different prismarine because they are kind of a seaside resort color, I figure, kind of a style. That, that blue-green is very nice for a seaside resort. I also want to use quartz because I'm crazy <laughs> and need tons and tons and tons of quartz. Uh, of course, I'm going to be, have to limit how much quartz I can use because it's just so much quartz because this is going to be a big build. This isn't going to be something small. And uh, so once... I consider using wool instead of quartz. I don't think that's going to work simply because I don't like the texture. I may use snow in a lot of places instead of quartz. That could suffice. It, it Just if I can make it look like not obviously snow because, because beach and snow don't quite go <laughs> together. But if I can somehow work it in that it's not uh, you know, very snow-like, that should be fine. And then, of course, I want to use, not of course, but I'm thinking of using some acacia wood as a highlight because it's a nice orangey tone and orange is a complement of blue complement uh, with an E meaning on the if you've ever seen a color wheel uh, complement is opposite colors on the color wheel so blue and yellow are complements red and green are complements and blue and orange are complements that means that sometimes they clash horribly and sometimes they're an excellent accent depending on the various shades and tones that you choose um, so that's I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the orange and I think the acacia is orangish enough to stand out, but not so orange that I'll clash terribly. I could be completely wrong. I could start building it and decide, no no, I don't like this at all. Probably we'll use some black very judiciously, either cloak blocks or wool, uh carpet blocks, one of the two. Uh again, very judiciously, because I, I don't want to overpower it. I don't want it to be a very heavy looking build. Uh nice high archways. That sort of thing. We're going to get the sunrise. This is going to be nice. Get the moonrise, get the sunrise over the resort. We're going to have to have a nice big sunrise room and a nice big sunset room. A space where you know, actually maybe one big room with just windows on either side so you can sit here and watch the sunrise and the sunset. Uh, I do want to use stained glass. I haven't used any stained glass at all in vanilla Minecraft so far. So I do want to use some stained glass. Take advantage of that. I think that will be nice. I'm considering making a separate banner specifically for the resort, mostly because my banner is you know, all that red and black is very heavy, dark banner, which is not what this build is going to be about. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. That's, ah, can you just imagine? Can you just imagine having a nice seaside resort like this, right by the beach? Bring out your coffee, watch the sunrise, or if you're like me and not a morning person whatsoever, watch the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I, I can't remember the last time I saw a sunrise. Actually, I can. It was yesterday. But, but, but it was not very well, like, I, w I wasn't fond of it. I didn't want it to be, I didn't want to see it. I was begrudgingly awake. Okay, not that it matters. Whoa, we're hitting all the wrong buttons. That's the button we wanted. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back down. All of the mobs should be despawned by now or burnt up to a crisp. Preferably burned up to a crisp. Well, except for that guy there, but it's bright enough. He won't attack me. Not that we're gonna we're gonna attack him, because he is on my seaside resort. There are no mobs allowed. We're of course going to use a lot of the. Um, very excited about the. I got a spider eye. Very excited about using the sea lanterns. I think that will be nice. Glowstone. Uh, we'll use some glowstone. Again, just because I like the color tones, and I don't want everything to be one color, because that would be boring. Here's a creeper. Let's just kind of clear him out. So all of this will be beach. Beach will lead up to the resort. I'm considering actually making some of the planes behind here also into beach to make it look like this is just one large, one large beach build. Uh, kind of similar to what Patch did with his... Sandcastle, I suppose. I could have just found a desert, and I considered finding a desert, but there wasn't one really kind of close by on the coast that had a nice bay for Play City. The big things I wanted is I wanted a nice bay because I knew I was going to have some sort of boats that would lead back and forth. I may actually build more like a yacht-looking boat and not have the actual ugly wooden Minecraft boats just sitting about. I wish there was a way of building nice boats, but, you know, that's okay. So I'm thinking of having 
just kind of for looksies, and then maybe in a chest having the brown boat. So if you actually do want to boat over there, you can. Not that I think anybody will, especially if you have Depth Strider on your boots. You move so quickly through the water. I've got Depth Strider 3, which is the highest level. You move very, very quickly through the water that you can actually, I think you move about as fast, if not faster sometimes, than being on a boat. And it's not glitchy. So you don't jump out and find yourself 100 blocks over. I like this little bit here, this little section. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But as you can see, we do have a river running back here. So if I level off this whole area between the river and the sea and make it all sand, this is essentially going to be where our build is contained. This is kind of the middle part of it here. This is the other branch here. I could extend it into this bay, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and just extend it into this bay here, because I, I just need these two little inlets I think will be nice there and here. I could have that third inlet. Maybe I'll take it over later, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. I, we do want to leave some of it a little bit natural looking. And as you can see, it's kind of thin over here, so this is going to be kind of a longer, thin build, so to speak. We'll probably go ahead and extend, connect the ocean or the bay here with the river here, we'll probably connect that and then have an indoor bridge going over it because I thought that would look quite nice and then have the other here. So we have dining room, ballroom, we'll need to have spa rooms, we'll need to have of course bedrooms because this will be like a hotel resort of course. Changing rooms for when you come in off the beach, maybe a little bit of a gym. So and then the sunrise sunset room. Did I say dining room? I probably said dining room already. A lot of those things could be combined, but we might just make them all separate. We do have a ravine back here that I'll actually have to cover up. I'm not going to leave this here. So we may explore this in a later episode and get what the goodies that we can that are easily accessible from here. Because otherwise I don't want it. Of course, kill all the animals. <laughs> we have no livestock allowed in the resort. You guys all have to go. I could lead you off somewhere. It'd probably be easier just to slaughter you all. Uh, so if you know what's good for you, get to the other side of the river. That would probably be a good idea. Um, I'll probably end up putting some sort of fence back there or something. There are no horses here, actually, believe it or not. I thought there would be, but they're not. There are horses on Play City. I may, before Patch kills them all, because I think that's his plan, I don't think he's going to keep them, I may go grab a couple and bring them over, because having a stable might be nice, because lots of people like to ride horses on the beach. I have never actually ridden a horse on the beach, or ridden a horse on the beach, mostly because it tends to be kind of expensive, but I know of people who have done that, and they enjoy it. So <laughs> this is kind of, this is an upscale kind of sort of thing. So people who could afford to do that, we do want them to come here, and we need to have the horses available. So I actually do like horseback riding, but I've never been horseback riding on the beach. It's mostly, you know, like my aunt had a farm. She had horses. We go riding on the trails back there. It was very nice. But it's definitely not something you get to do very often in your life unless you have the money for it. And then over here, I think we have a little bit of an island right here. We may do something with that. Maybe another pavilion would be nice. I need to look up more pavilion designs because uh, again the ceilings, pavilions are pretty basic and simple in and of themselves it's just the ceilings that are kind of boring so I need to either look up some designs or come up with some ideas I know a lot of people actually go into creative and will play creative and come up with designs that way I have never actually done that the only time I ever go into creative is to take screenshots of something but yeah so there we go that's that's the idea I think the jungle is there's a jungle kind of far that way not super close. Of course, more forest over there. But yeah, that is the basic idea. It's going to be a lot of work. So you'll probably not get an update on it until I level everything off. Because, I don't know, maybe I'll show you when I'm halfway done. But it is going to take so much work just to level everything off. I have an awesome shovel here. Uh, Dina, or Dinah. I don't know how you pronounce it. I pronounce it Dinah. Uh, but it's efficiency 4, I'm breaking 3. It does have silk touch, which is kind of annoying because that means I get grass blocks and dirt blocks so they don't stack as they normally would. On the other hand, I do have a ton of grass blocks, so whenever I want to plant any grass anywhere, I have the capability of planting grass everywhere. I could do a, probably a whole build out of grass blocks if I wanted at this point in time because I have so many of the dang things. But Dina is quite awesome. We've already repaired her a couple of times. I don't know how much more I'll be able to repair before she 
before she goes. We have to add her to the little graveyard. Uh, Achman actually left a message in my last video. Well, it's not my last video, but the one where I buried Pam and mentioned that she had one use left. And so I technically buried her alive, which is true. But, you know, she wanted it that way, she told me. All of the tools have to sign an agreement saying when they have one use left, I'm allowed to bury them. I have the contract somewhere. Uh, I don't need to produce it because I know where they are. <laughs> so that's all there is to it. It's it's agreed upon. It's their last will and testament, one use. So do not resuscitate type thing. So really she's just in a vegetative, vegetative state. And there's no hope for her. Because she doesn't want to be resuscitated. That's what it is. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead, obviously, and start cleaning this off. Which is going to be very boring. And which I'm not going to subject you to. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I've got... Oh, let me show you before we go. I'm going to show you some of the blocks I've already gotten from the Guardian Farm. Oh, we're also going to use stained clay. Here's all the quartz I've collected so far. It's not a ton. It looks like a ton, but it goes so fast. I'm thinking if I use slabs, that will extend it quite a bit. Because, of course, I can essentially double what I have. But we're definitely going to have to get more more quartz and then hardened clay I went and collected a bunch of hardened clay I did collect some orange because I thought orange would be a nice highlight along with the acacia wood uh, but I am going to dye these I figured like a light blue dye would be nice or white again just kind of as an just options 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 because this is gonna be a big build so I could use most of my builds I try to use two or three blocks and that's really about it and just kind of use them in a variety of ways this size I'm going to need more variety otherwise it's just gonna be boring because they're like oh look this side looks a lot like this side only you know just slightly smaller that's it so we're gonna have to get a little more creative with it and then these are what I've collected so far from the Guardian farm as you remember this is created by nine different shards this is created by four different shards that gives you any idea of how many shards I've used so far so this is a large reason why I hang out and I AFK so often on the Guardian farm in fact when I'm done for the day here. I'm not obviously going to be able to clear all of this out in a day, but when I'm done, I'm going to go AFK up the Guardian farm and then, you know, go get lunch or something. <laughs> go take a break uh, and see. Hopefully I'll, hopefully we'll get lots of lots of shards because it's I'm going to need more. This is not going to be enough what I've got in that double chest. I really need like a double chest of each of the bricks and the the stuff the what the what is it the bricks and the just I guess just prismarine yeah just prismarine so I'm thinking of using this mostly inside so this is really what I need the most of and as you can see I've, I've got quite a bit of this stuff here this is gonna be an accent another type of accent this is gonna be mostly used for outdoor spaces because I figure it more it looks more broken up this looks a lot smoother a lot cleaner so this is gonna be mostly indoor spaces so we have we have maybe enough of the outdoor. I probably should have a double chest full of each of these, really, because it's like I said, it's going to be a large build. But I'm not the only one who is using the Guardian Farm. A lot of people are actually using it because it is the new block. So everyone's excited about the brand new block, and everyone wants to use it, uh, just like me. So it's those those shards go fast. <laughs> I think I think that Guardian Farm has produced way more than anyone really realizes because everyone's using it and taking it and so whenever you check it only seems like there's you know two or three double chests full but if you think about it you know I've, I have that much that I've taken who knows how much other people have taken and it's I bet it's just so much I bet it's just a lot a lot a lot a lot I could probably do the math to see how much I have taken so far but I don't want to because it's the end of the episode and it's time for me to go so as the sun sets, quite nice, we got the sunrise, and now we get to see the sunset. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye here. So thanks, everyone, for watching. My name is Ryla, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.